Fiona, thank you so much for joining us here in Barcelona. It's great to see you and I think you've been having a lot of discussions this week around how diversity and inclusion in businesses is really a key part of mitigating risk. Why is that and explain that for me? Well, it's central to the risk, the operational risk profile. So when we think about traditional DNI, we're not talking about just going on the DNI training course. We're talking about how do we actually become disciples of DNI that serves our colleagues, our customers, and the wider communities that we serve. And there are there are many societal sort of uh, focuses that have happened over the last few years, particularly with Black Lives Matter and Times Up, etc., where there's been an awful lot of focus put, and rightly so. But it's how you broaden that out across the wider risk proposition, so we can get just much more talent which represents the diversity of society building products and services that serves the diversity of society that builds diverse societies so it's interconnected right so it's important to get the diversity piece correct in your business from right from the top and, and that to be a trickle down effect in your business but also um, i guess it's key because of what that diversity brings to the business in, ter in terms of mitigating risk because we all know that diversity in a, in a boardroom means you have different ideas and different thoughts and different suggestions coming in absolutely and it's it's getting away from group think isn't it and a lot of banks are represented here over the last couple of days and their perception in society hasn't always been the best and how they actually reposition themselves and how that comes from the top is absolutely critical. So we do need to hear from our risk leaders. We do need to hear from the C-suite of banks and um, insurance companies. Society demands it, we want to hear it. And more importantly, we want to see it and we want to believe in it and we want to know that it's actually building and, and investing in a future world that people actually want to be a part of. This is very much part of what you would say is the the S element of ESG. Yeah, Everybody's sure. heard so much about the E in yep. ESG, yep. Uh, but S perhaps because of COVID has come to the fore more yeah. as well. And, and it really is something the consumer cares about, the end user. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's it's part of everybody's life, isn't it? I mean, as you say, the, the E gets a lot of the the media attention, right? And the S is harder to define, really, but fundamentally it's how society operates. And that is absolutely central to people's, their own uh, employer value proposition. I mean, in the, the keynote that I did yesterday, I was talking about the, the junction of the great resignation and the great reskilling revolution. And in America, in July alone, four million people resigned from their roles. Now that's a big number. And, and this is around perhaps that, that COVID question as well, where people have started to question what their lives are doing and exactly. what their purpose is. Exactly. And working for a purposeful organisation doesn't give you the sat nav on your own personal values, but it helps. And if that is completely and utterly disconnected to where you are and what you stand for, well then naturally you're going to vote with your feet, aren't you? And we're starting to see much more rise in um, employee activism and in social activism as well, which has a massive impact for chief risk officers to be able to manage and understand and mitigate, but also listen and respond to what that looks like across the profile of their organisations as well. So being able to be back here together in an environment like this event, what messages do you hope that you've conveyed that those leaders will take away with them this week? That's leading functions doesn't necessarily mean that you're equipped to lead futures. Thank you so much. Great to hear. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.